Hello, everybody. Let me introduce you Wimsy. This is bracelet called Wimsy, designed by Cap5898 on Instagram. And this bracelet really is Wimsy. And I will show you in a moment why. So let's start with a little drawing. We start with standard six loop setup, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, and the line one. We in the line one also add one more on each side. So we'll have eight. And in the first line we need to pull one band on the inner four bands, reclaiming all of them. So we will end up with 10 loops. The second line. Once we have these 10 on, on the hook, we need to cross the band. This is the half of the braid. And we need to cross this and this band. It means the second and the third from the center. And it is good to pull this band, which is the band we just pulled through, over this other band to the center. So we will make a cross and the same on the other side. We will make a cross this band over this one. So we have them crossed. In the third line we have one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And in the following line we will work with one side first and we need to pull a band under all five bands very carefully here over this crossed place and then we reclaim the third one as well as the last one, then close it off. And then in the line number four, we have one, two, three, and four on the hook. One, two, three, four. We just pull one band under the three and reclaim the second, the third, and close it off. So we will end up with one, two, three, four, five on the hook. One, two, three, four, five, like this. So when we are back to the line number one, but here we started with eight plus two that we pulled under the middle four. So we ended up with ten. But that applies only to the first line, very first line when the bracelet begins. In the, any other sequence we will start with ten loops on the hook and pull one more under the middle four and we will have twelve. This is like an alternative line number one for every other sequence we will have one two three four five one two three four five and we will pull a band under the middle four means from here to here and reclaim all of them so we will have one two three four five six and one two three four five six so we will have 12 loops on the hook and every other line will be the same because we will here we will cross the second and the third from the center and everything else will be the same so let's have a look how it is in a reel I will be using three colors I will be using white, pearl white, I will be using peach frost and burgundy because those are very good for tutorials. I start with a cup end. I pull one band through, reclaim one half of the cup band and close it off. Then I just take one more pull through two, 
reattach the outer two like this and on the other side I will do the same I will reclaim the second half of the cup band, close it off and pull a band through two and reattach the outer two like this so I have six but I need to have we are here in this line in this original first line we need to have eight so I, I will add two more on each side under two reclaim the outer two here under two reattach the outer two so this is how to get eight loops on the hook so once I have eight two and two and four I need to pull one band under the middle four, reclaiming all four of them. So I will going to do it this way. I will put my burgundy brown here and I will pull it under these four one by one, like this, with my fingernail. So I will just pull it under these four and then I divide it evenly pull to the sides both sides and here i just pull it down so that it sits well in the correct position like this so when i have done this we are going to do the line number two and it means to cross these two these two bands which means when we count from the center here's the center we need to cross this and this second and the third like so so we cross the third over the second like this and on the other side we need to do the same so just remember we always cross that band that we have pulled through the middle four this is a little bit fiddly so just be patient and when we have done this we need to pull one through all five and reclaim these two loops. To do so, you need to be very careful when pulling through this little cross because it will just fall apart. If you want to do it, you need to press it here and pull down and not let it go until loops are fixed, like this. You just squeeze it between your fingers, pull down and press and hold it tight so that these bands don't change places. And when we looped under the five, like this, we will reclaim the third one back on the hook and then you just reclaim the last one and close it off. So that band, cross band, is fixed now. It will not unloop anymore. And now the same on the other side. The band we have crossed is still there. And now just hold it tight, press and pull down to make a place where to pull this other band through under the five and as soon as this is done turn your hook around and reattach the third one and then you just recline the last one and close it off the third one last one and close it off like so so we have done this and we continue with the line number four we take the pink Pull it under the three and reattach the second and the third, then close it off. And the very same thing also on the other side. Pull a band through three and reattach the outer two plus close it off, like so. So now you see we have ended up with three plus two it is five plus five on each side. So we are back to the beginning and we are not going to work with the line number one because that applies only to the 
very first sequence, now in the second sequence we have 10 already on the hook and we are going to pull one burgundy under the middle four. So we are going to pull the burgundy one under these four, leaving the three and three on sides untouched. Like this. You can also pull it through if you like, you know how, but I prefer doing it this way. So I just pull it here, and here, and here, and the last one. And I push it and pull down. So now it is in the correct position, like so. So now we need to cross this one and pull one band through all six bands to the center while taking care this cross is, will not fall apart. So I will just take this white one Pull this through the first six. You need to hold this really, really well. And then you reclaim the pink one, which means the third from the center. And then you reclaim these last two and then close it off, like so. Then, not to switch places, switch sides too often. You can continue with line number four. You just take another pink, pull it through the first three and skip the first one, but reattach the second, the third and close it off. Then we go to the other side and we need to repeat the step two, three and four. Now I would like to show you how to pull the white that comes next through these six loops over here in a different way than uh, how I have just shown you. Because this way might be a little difficult for someone. So I'll show you how I did it, uh, how I also did it. I did not cross it yet, I just pulled the band through the first six loops like this and then I picked up this burgundy one and I took this pink one out with my nails then I just flip this burgundy one down and reattach the pink one and then I reattach the last one and closed it off and another way is by using another hook. I will just take another hook. I'm not going to cross these two, so I skip the line two of them. I just take my white, I pull it through the six loops over here, through all six loops, and now as I have them pulled through. I will reattach this burgundy one and then you can leave these, they will not fall apart and you just use your hook to bring this pink out, you just slip the burgundy down from your hook and reattach the pink one. It is actually the same way like using your nails but someone may like working with the hook more than just with nails, so it's up to you. And then you just reattach the last one and close it off. The result is the same. So here are the three different ways how to do this fiddly part. It's up to you how you do that. And now, how to close this bracelet off. It has the square shape from the very beginning and it begins with six white loops over here so we just should try to do the same on the other side at least to be similar to the beginning so maybe we just pull one and one white through these two halves that might be the easiest like this 
maybe with reattaching the last one, yeah. And here on this side, I'll do the same. Pull through four and reattach the last one and close it off. And then just pull one band through all six loops like this and here you can attach the secret and the beginning and the end of the bracelet will look quite similar so this is the whimsy bracelet i wish you good luck doing these whimsical little crosses because it really needs some previous skill with hook on the designs but it was a pleasure to make something uh, challenging and I'm very happy I was allowed to make this tutorial for cap 5898 so please if you make this bracelet don't forget to hashtag the name of the bracelet which is Wimsey and author of the bracelet which is cap 5898 on Instagram and of course if you post on Instagram please tag me and cap to your renditions to let us see how you managed to do the whimsical thing. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.